Again, my name is Kendra. I do lifestyle, beauty, fashion, and some travel videos for you guys. So if you like what you see, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And while you're at it, ring my bell so you don't miss any of my future uploads. So you guys, I'm super excited about this video. If you guys follow me on Instagram, I posted in my stories how I repaired one of my locks, okay? Now, I'm not saying that I need to repair my locks, but I just wanna jump on here and show you guys those that are interested um, in maybe not having to wait on your loctician to do this or not having to pay a little bit of extra coins to your loctician for this having to be done, this could be an option for you. So I'm just doing it just simply to show you guys. I have no intentions of repairing any of my locks, okay? I don't think they need to be repaired and I'm gonna show you why. I'm excited about this video because I learned something new, okay? I too, like you guys, watch YouTube videos to figure this out. Um, and I thought it would be helpful for you guys and I wanna continue to create content that's helpful for you. Um, so you can be self-sufficient in your own lock journey. This video is all about unraveling. Now there's two things to kind of separate here. There is slippage and then there's unraveling. Now I don't really know all the technical terms, but I do know those two terms, okay? I do know that slippage is, is from the roots and then unraveling is from the ends. That's my definition of it, okay? <laughs> now we're gonna be talking about unraveling and we're gonna be talking about the ends of our hair. This is a preference, okay? Although it's not my preference to do this, I wanna show you guys because I'm pretty sure this is a lot of people's preference um, when it comes to their lot. Just a little background, I started off with two strand twists. I am four months in the game now. October the 8th is when I established my locks, all right? And I started with two strand twists, okay? Now, with my hair, all of my two strand twists have unraveled except for some of them in my crown area. That is the only place that held the two strand twist. Just a couple, not even all of them, okay? So what I'm left with is interlock at the roots and then loose hair at the ends. Now, I love it, all right, because I, I love fullness and it gives me some volume. Some people don't like that because they think that, or it could, it could cause some problems. I, wouldn't, I don't even consider this a problem, okay? But some people don't like it. Some people like the cohesive look with their locks. They like for all of their locks to look the same, have the same density, the same width, the same, you know what I'm saying? Me, I kind of like the fact that locks, you know, each lock has their own little identity, so some may look different than the other. I am totally okay with that. So if my micro lock journey has inconsistent locks, I'm gonna be completely okay with that. If you started with two strand twists like I did, you're probably more prone to have this issue. If you interlock all the way down, you may have some unraveling, okay? Um, but for the most part, I think us, us, us micro lockers that started with two strand twists and then interlock, I think that is an issue for us. All right, so this is an example, right? So this one is interlocked from roots all the way to ends, and this one is just interlocked from roots to, and this is the stopping point, about right there, all right? So, I'm gonna show you how to do this on this lock, okay? So let's get started. So to get started, I'm gonna separate the hair, all right? In order to do, I feel like this is the same as when you start your interlocking. The interlock starts here and it moves up, right? So we're just gonna do that, all right? Now, you need some type of barrier right here so that when you're interlocking, it won't go through, all right? So we need to stop here. So what I do is I just two strand twist the ends of my hair. So I just put my fingers here, all right? And then I just do a two strand twist. Just to kind of be my barrier so that while I'm doing the interlocking, um, I won't defeat the purpose, <laughs> basically. All right, so I have a barrier here. I have my finger through here, all right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm still gonna be on a four point rotation. You're just not gonna be able to see it as clear. So we're gonna go side, under, other side, top. Okay, so that's the four point rotation that we're gonna be using. All right, so I'm gonna just take my finger, pull it through, you see where that two strand twist starts? It's where it stopped, and that's what you want. So I'm gonna pull the end through, bam. Now this takes a long time, okay? 
This takes a long time, all right? But you wanna keep doing it. From the top, from the side. And it's just like you're holding it taut and you're using your nail. You kinda of gotta have a nail to do this. It'll help you get your fingers through. All right, so as you can see, we have interlocking start, we have loose hair, and then we have interlocking at the roots. We wanna go all the way up until we get here. And then there's gonna be at some, some point where our fingers can't fit, and we're gonna to have to use a tool, and we're gonna talk all about that tool, all right? So I'm just gonna continue to use my finger. Y'all, this is a process, okay? So if your whole head has done this, good luck, girl. Girl, good luck, cause you are gonna be doing this. This is like starting all over almost. Like, but it goes pretty fast once you get the hang of it, okay? It goes pretty fast once you get the hang of it. You wanna make sure that you're doing it the same way um, that you interlock your hair. You wanna make sure that you go all the way to the ends, all right? Go all the way to the ends and then pull it through, okay? You don't want any holes in it, right? So I'm gonna continue to do that. Okay, so we're coming to a point where we can't stick our fingers through anymore. So we're gonna have to use a tool. So as you can see, we have interlock, loose hair, a hump, a gap, you see that? And then we have another, the interlock at the roots. As you can see, that loop right there, we wanna close that because that's a hole in your lock. You don't want any holes in your locks, you definitely wanna fix that, okay? So, now we're gonna be using a tool to fix that, all right? And the tool that I'm using is the Nappy Locks tool. It is the Micro Mini, okay? One of the smallest ones. This is the tool here, okay? It's small enough to fit through my lock. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to thread the hole with my hair, all right? And then I'm just gonna start using the tool to do the same thing, all right? It's small enough, so look. Use your thumb so you can see where to start. And you just take it, go down, pull it through. Go to the side, pull down, all right? You wanna pull down, pull it through. All right, keep doing that same rotation until you completely, completely close that gap. All right, at some point you wanna stop and analyze what you're doing and check and see if you still have gaps. And we still have about this much left right here. I can feel where it's not interlocking, it's just straight hair. All right, so you wanna continue until you have no more, no more gaps. Okay, so you wanna analyze it now to see your work. And I don't see any holes. It feels like it's interlocked all the way down and it stops about right here. So look at there, you have went from loose ends to interlock ends all the way up. So your interlocking has met, there's no holes, and you're good to go. All right, and that is pretty much it, you guys. That is how I do it. All right, friends, thank you guys so much for tuning into this video. I truly hope that it was helpful for you guys. Comment below if you have any questions. And if you guys have anything to add to this video that I may have missed, definitely comment below. Or if you have any corrections, <laughs> definitely comment below. After all, we're on this journey together. And as always, I'll talk to you guys down below in the comment section. Bye.